All right, we're in the OBS software right now, recording the desktop. I'm running Windows Pro, Windows 11 Pro. What we'll do real quick is just do a search for the Dell Peripheral Manager. You can see it'll pop up right here. Right now I'm running Dell Peripheral Manager 1.4.1, and it looks a little bit like this. So um, welcome to this demo here of the Dell uh, Peripheral Manager software. If you wanted to see how it works, what's included, um, this is the demo for you. So under presets over here on the left, you can see there's a few options. Right now we're in the default. This is the Dell UltraSharp Webcam WB7022, and it is recording. This is what it looks like when you switch over to smooth. And this is the smooth colors. So hopefully you can get a sense for that. Now smooth, it says here is uh, touch up and smooth out your appearance. So um, hopefully it's making me look uh, more exciting in 4K, I guess. Um, here's vibrant. Vibrant is set up to intensify the color and vibrancy of your image. And then finally here is warm. Whoa, <laughs> warm makes it darker. I think maybe warm should be warmer should be called the darker darker setting on this uh, here. Um, and it's the boost your appearance with warmer tones. Um, all right, so let's go back to the default setting on here. This is the one that I've been using the most. It's called default. And this is what you've seen. All right, so basically you can set the preset for what you want the color to be like for this webcam. And you could add a new preset if you wanted to. The main controls on here are camera control, color and image, and capture. So under camera control here, you can see you can turn on and off the auto framing feature. It uh, basically is intelligent scene analysis and facial tracking to zoom and pan when you, uh, you move. And uh, you've seen this. I've got a whole video of me walking around where you can see exactly how this feature works and what it does. Some folks were wondering if it changes overall the quality of the image. Um, you can see here that it just sort of zoomed out um, the quality for me. And then you can see here it just sort of zooms back in. Um, so not entirely sure what it's doing to the quality of the content underlying. Um, but you can see here based on the screen that I look pretty much the same here. And then if I click this button, I don't know, like it just sort of zoomed out. Um, so hopefully that gives you a sense of how that works. You need to turn off the AI auto framing feature to be able to change the different settings here under uh, field of view. So this is 90 degrees, this is 78, and uh-oh, this is 65. So it definitely zooms in <laughs> on 65 degrees and 78 and 90. And so I've been using this AI auto framing. We'll turn it back on and it just sort of zooms in and keeps me in focus. Um, it's definitely what I've had turned on for web meetings and other stuff. This is, this is the feature that I've been most happy with. It just keeps me right in the center of the frame while I'm talking to folks. All right. You can control the zoom, you control autofocus. You can set the priority of exposure or frame rate. You can prioritize the external webcam. This is an interesting one. So if you have an integrated webcam that's built in and you want to prioritize that, or if you want to prioritize the external webcam, it will tell it to always use the external. So that's the click right there. Um, I think this is set up for Windows Hello. Um, I have not used that yet. Um, so, yeah. All right, color and image. Here I have the high dynamic, high dynamic range turned on. And I have the auto white balanced turned on. You can control brightness, sharpness, contrast, saturation, and anti-flicker. My anti-flicker is set to 60 Hertz. Then of course you can control the capture. Uh, I have my resolution set here to 4K UHD. I have it set to 30 frames per second. It has a setting for three, two, one countdown, a framing grid, and some other stuff. The framing grid looks like this. Um, I suppose it's to help make sure that I don't wander off the grid, <laughs> literally. Um, so, and then three, two, one countdown should work just like you would expect. Um, my media location is an external drive, E, it's in the webcam folder. That's just where I store content while I'm working. My Windows 11 Pro is just installed on an M.2 uh, stick. It's a 
basically a hard drive that looks like a stick of gum and I do not have enough space to put 4K video content on that so I can use an external external drive for that. So this is basically the controls over here on the left. Um, so you can see everything that's there. And then it has only like a couple other sets of controls. This is a very basic application. So it has a question bar over here on the far right. And uh, basically it's just need help. For more information, click here. Software version 1.4.1, driver 1.2.0.29. And then it has some settings, basic settings, on-screen notifications, um, some updates, some analytics. And uh, yep, I'm sending Dell stuff to improve. And that is pretty much everything in this piece of software um, for those that were wondering what happens. The easiest way to use this thing is just to hit record. It'll start recording and uh, yeah, you get what you get. And then um, this is where you could open and find where it recorded that media. I will tell you that the audio sync, when you're using the external uh, webcam and you're using a microphone, you gotta watch the audio sync because it can become slightly unpaired um, pretty easily. And that's when the video buffers for just a second and the audio is already recording. And so you get kind of a mismatch between where your audio started promptly and the video took just a second to get going. And uh, yeah, that's one of those things you'll see if you're recording a lot of 4K video or moving up in the video space. Um, but yeah, audio sync is really annoying um, if you've ever experienced it. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is a quick tour of the Dell Profile Manager software. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick tour and it gave you everything you needed to know about this. Again, this is the Dell UltraSharp Webcam WB7022. Thanks for watching if you made it this far into the video. Uh, I appreciate you and I hope you enjoy more little demos like this in the future. This was recorded using the OBS right here.